Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Hope and I am a senior portrait photographer that serves both Charleston and Savannah. And this YouTube channel is where I share education for photographers as well as a little bit of a peek into my life living in the low country. And today's video is kind of fun because we honestly weren't planning on sharing this senior session on YouTube. It was originally filmed for our senior scoop membership. If you don't know what that is, it is our $27 a month membership where you get to see a full uncut senior session every single month with a real client where I talk through my thought processes behind every second of the shoot. So my lighting, my locations, why we shot which outfit at which spot, how to handle difficult situations with parents, and you get to see editing demos of me actually editing those images in Lightroom and in Photoshop. We talk a little bit about marketing, we talk about workflows and systems, and it's an amazing community of almost 500 photographers from around the world. And this is what, that is what we originally filmed this shoot for. This is Jake's awesome senior your session in Charleston but we just didn't end up getting as much footage as we wanted to. So I'm gonna show you guys some snippets from the shoot here on the YouTube channel. So we are going to structure this video similar to how we structure the content inside of the Senior Scoop every single month. So if you enjoy watching this real footage from an actual shoot and kind of hearing my thought processes in real time, then you're going to absolutely love the membership. I'm gonna link it down below. It is only $27 a month and we would be so thrilled to have you inside. We do coaching calls every single month. There's workbooks. Books, you get access to all the final galleries. You get to see my camera settings. It's truly an amazing resource that I'm really proud of. And we create new content for it constantly, like constantly. So I think that you'll absolutely love it. But we're gonna go ahead and dive into Jake's shoot. So Jake is actually a family friend of mine. I've known him for a couple of years, we're actually closer with his parents. He's so wonderful. Um, he is studying ministry and planning to go to college for ministry. He's also an amazing baseball player and wrestler. So you'll see that we kind of highlight those elements throughout his shoot. If you've watched any other videos on this channel about photographing senior guys, then you know that I actually kind of specialize in senior girls. Um, I work with very girly, preppy, frilly senior girls in Charleston most frequently. So I actually offer 30 minute mini session experiences for my guy seniors because I've learned that there are very few guys, there are some, but very few that enjoy a full two to two and a half hour experience. We are just gonna show you a quick five minute snippet from this shoot, but hopefully it's impactful and helpful for you to see kind of how I engage with my clients in real time, a little bit about the lighting and kind of some of them boy posing because I know that posing with senior guys can be really limiting and very intimidating. So let's go ahead and watch some clips. Just adjust a couple settings. Because you're going to study ministry, right? Yes, that is awesome. Okay, so as I mentioned, he is studying for ministry. So his Bible was something that was really important to him to bring and incorporate into this shoot. But let's talk really quickly about the lighting here because we shot around 5 p.m. and the sunset wasn't until about 6.30, 6.45-ish. So the sun was still pretty strong at this time of day. And you'll see that from where the videographer is standing, it looks like that light is just pouring into his lens. He's getting lots and lots of lens flare, which is what we don't want when we're shooting. Obviously he stood where he had to stand in the video but um, when you're shooting, you want to be sure that the sun is never directly hitting your camera lens because that's when you're going to get this kind of hazy flare situation that you see in this footage, which is actually a great example. So what you'll see that I'm kind of standing at a 90 degree angle towards Jake so that the sun is hitting the back of him, but it's not directly hitting my lens. If I had taken like two big steps to the left, I would have been shooting directly into the sun and that would have created that hazy kind of blurry feel in the images that we didn't want. Want. So that 90 degree angle where I'm shooting straight onto Jake is what allowed this lighting situation to work so well. And when I'm working with guys, I really love seated poses because I feel like we're able to get a little bit more variety that way. So I had him sit on these bleachers because again, he's an awesome athlete. And we did a few different pose variations here because I can get a little bit more variety than just having him stand with his hands in his pockets, which is where a lot of photographers get stuck with posing guys. So let's actually have you stand right on the mound right here. And I'm gonna back up and try to get a lot of this in here. Then we're going up there. Thank you for telling me that. Clearly I know nothing about baseball. Okay, then that's where we need to be. I'm so glad you just told me that. So that is a perfect example of the fact that it's okay if you like miss, mess up at a shoot and don't know something. I had no idea he was a catcher, so I did not know that it would make more sense for him to stand in a different section of the field. So that's where we went. We went to the front of the baseball diamond, but that way it was more true to life for his actual position. So this is actually a great example because anytime I photograph an athlete, whether it's a guy or a girl, um, or like a hobby that I'm not familiar with, 
with, I will ask for input from the client on posing. Um, like I photographed a lacrosse player a few weeks ago and I asked him, okay, what would be a natural way to actually hold your lacrosse stick? And what would be some poses that you would do with your team when you do the professional photos with the school? It's okay to get some input from your client because naturally we're not gonna know everything and every possible pose combination for every hobby and every sport. So you'll see that I kind of get his input on some pose options here in a second. I'm just gonna get all this readjusted. Awesome, I'm gonna come from this side a little more. Just pushing a bunch of buttons, sorry Jake. Okay, awesome, and then looking right here towards me, Awesome. Again, with the lighting here, same exact thing we talked about with the bleachers. That sun is a little bit powerful coming from directly behind him. So I'm shooting at an angle that allows for me to not have the sun pouring into my lens. It's really, really important that if we're gonna photograph backlit, that the sun is not pouring into our lens. It can come from behind your client and you can shoot at an angle to avoid that sun flare. Um, you'll also see that quite a few times I will have him look over his shoulder and then look over at the camera. That's for two reasons. One, I get some really cool profile shots, which the guy typically love but two it makes them feel a little bit more comfortable while I'm adjusting my settings and getting my framing and my composition right if they were just staring directly into the camera while I fidgeted with my settings and found my footing with the right lighting they would feel a little bit uncomfortable just waiting for me to take the photo but having them look off into the distance or over their shoulder kind of prevents that awkwardness and makes their facial expression a little bit more natural and genuine when I do have them look back at the camera um, I'm gonna have you do your backhand in your pocket and then kind of lean on that arm towards me while more time. Front pocket or back pocket? Uh, front pocket's good. If you can. Tight jeans and yeah, there you go. And then let's do eyes off that shoulder. I'm just getting in close here. So this pose is what I call the power pose. I do it with my senior guys and also with my grooms on wedding days. Just having him put one hand in his pocket then lean forward on one shoulder is a very flattering and masculine pose for the guys. And to get a lot of variety when I'm working with guys, again, because posing is a little bit more limited, I am changing my cropping and my composition rather often. I'm also providing a lot of variety in black and white in color edits and I'm typically changing my focal le length with my lens pretty often too. I don't do that in these clips, but I did at the shoot. I have my 35, my 50, and my 85 with me so that just by changing my lens, I immediately am adding more variety into that gallery. Awesome. And then right back here towards me. Perfect. And then mom, we're getting you in here for one more. Oh, I love it. Okay, just wrap an arm around each other. Snuggle up in there. <laughs> Cute. Oh, this is precious. I love it. And then anytime one of my seniors brings their friend, their mom, a family member, a pet, I always bring them in for a handful of photos. So this is his sweet mom and we had so much fun photographing them together. And those are, I think, some of their favorites from the shoot. They were so, so, so sweet. I'm gonna kind of block the cars with this tree. Awesome, okay. And just smiling right here towards me. Perfect. So I lowered my aperture here to blur out some of those cars and things that were happening in the background. And I also tried to shift so that I was photographing slightly to the right and getting more of the walkway in the really pretty Spanish moss versus the busy parking lot and that construction that you're seeing in this shot. Um, I really love the Spanish moss. And again, that light coming from behind him. This is my favorite time of day to photograph. I only photograph senior seniors in general, portrait sessions in general, um, during golden hour, which is about two hours before the sun goes down. And it creates that beautiful glow that comes through the trees and the same thing we talked about with the backlight before in this situation I can photograph directly towards the sunlight as long as I am standing in the shade so because if I'm standing in the shade the sunlight is still never directly hitting my lens to create that flare so that's why this is working where he is standing in the sun you can kind of see some of that glow coming from behind him hitting the back of his hair right here creating that really pretty halo effect but I am also standing in the shade so I'm not getting that haze Dodds just walking straight towards where your mom's standing actually is perfect perfect yeah those are cool i love that and then let's get your bible out and open it up to that um verse okay love it i'm gonna actually have you turn the bible towards me um yeah just like that so i can kind of get a close-up here and then i'm gonna get one with your cross necklace too perfect and i'm gonna have you see just like that just look over that shoulder for me and i'm gonna kind of get you in the background here awesome love it i love it it's even underlined those are really cool mm -hmm. i'm glad you suggested that thank you yeah, for saying yeah, that you. these look amazing y'all hey, they look you. so good of course thank you for having me do them so i will post some sneak peeks for y'all to see by tomorrow um and then it's usually like two weeks and i'll send y'all the whole gallery awesome. thank you so yes much. of course okay guys i hope it was cool to see a look into a real guy senior session i love when i get to do youtube videos that include actual footage from shoots if you liked this style of teaching and you liked seeing the real life behind the scenes like if you're a hands-on learner and you 
you kind of have to see things in action in order to learn, you will love the Senior Scoop because it's like this times 100. It's only $27 a month. It includes access to me with live coaching calls every month, as well as a community of hundreds of photographers across the globe. And you get immediate access to the entire vault of content, which is over a year of content inside of the vault. So we would love to have you. The link is below for more information. And I will also drop the link to Jake's Senior Portrait Gallery below so you can see the final images. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'd be so grateful to have you subscribe. I post new videos every week, so I'll see y'all next time. Bye.